Hello viewers, right now I am going to show you outdoor portrait edits in a very easiest way. So for the first, I am just making a copy of this layer by right click here and duplicate layer. You can do it very easily by pressing Ctrl and J. Now I am going to select the subjects. So here I have selected the quick selection tool. I am just brushing on the area which I want to select. So we are seeing some portion has over selected. Now I am deselecting it by pressing Alter and click on the area. So now we have done our selection and now I am going to refine edge and here from select and mask option and I am clicking on the refined edge brush tool and view mode is overlay and just brushing on the area of edge. So we have refined the edge. Now I'm clicking on OK. And I'm selecting this area again because this is the same horizontal row of the subject. Therefore I'm selecting this tree also. And I'm going for refined age for this tree also. So now I'm clicking on OK. Now I'm taking a layer mask for this selection selected area. So now just press and control and click on this layer mask. So the selected area is selected again. Now I am invisibling this layer and select this layer and going to select, modify, then expand. And here is expand by 20 is enough. Click on OK. I am going to edit fill and select here constraint AOR and click on OK. So now we are seeing the selected area is vanished. Now I am deselecting it and taking spot healing brush tool and just removing those spots. So this pores is removed. Now I'm going to blur the background like DSLR camera. So I'm going to filter and taking the blur gallery and tilt shift. So I'm giving blur around around 150. Now I am repositioning the area of blurred. I think this is okay now. So now I am clicking on OK. Now I am going to just make a little bit darken of this layer. So going to the brightness and contrast and decreasing the brightness around minus 18 
around minus 80 is enough. Now just decreasing the opacity a little bit. Opacity 75% is enough. Now I'm taking a layer on the top of those all layers and taking brush tools and making the foreground color is black and make sure the opacity is around 100 percent and just brush on all the area and make those all area is black and take a layer mask for this layer and again take a brush tool and make the foreground color black and just press on the middle of this artboard now reposition this area just press control T or click on here show transform controls I'm making it a large I'm making it a little bit large And I'm taking brush tool again and just brush on this area which I want to make more bright in like here here and decreasing the opacity around 36 Now I think this is okay. Now I'm going for the color corrections. So therefore I'm taking a new layer which is color lookup and taking the options which is Fuji Eterna 250D Kodak 2395. So this looks better. Now I'm taking another layer which is color balance and making red a little bit. Around positive 14 is enough. Now I'm going to take another layer which is curves and taking the color blue and just reduce the blue a little bit. So now I am going to smoothing the skins of the subject. For this I am taking a merged layer from all those layers by pressing Ctrl, Alter, Shift and E. So this is the new merged layer. Now I am copying this layer by pressing Ctrl J and giving it some glacian blur around 50% and making the blending mode to screen and opacity around 30 now I am taking another copy of this layer by pressing Ctrl J and making the blending option to multiply and opacity around 20% now I'm taking a new layers which is levels and here I am giving the RGB levels of 
output levels 10 and giving the red channel 8 now I'm selecting all those four layers and making a group of this layer now I'm taking a layer mask and making it inverse by pressing Ctrl I and just taking brush tool here we have to take the foreground color is white so I'm making it white now just press now just brush on the screen I'm making the opacity a little bit increased So this is the outcome of screen smoothness and this was before and this is after. So I think the screen has smoothed enough. So this is all about outdoor portrait edits very easily. Hope you have enjoyed my video. So please 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 don't forget to hit the subscribe button and keep liking and commenting on my videos and let me know about your feelings about the tutorials and thank you.